Hello and welcome back to my channel. We need to have like a musical intro, I feel. So today I'm going to do a drugstore haul, tutorial, review, all in one type thing. Uh, I've been meaning to do it for a while and then one of my friends, Shannon, shout out was like, oh, you need to do a drugstore haul. So I was like, right, that's what I'm doing. She's decided it, done. Um, so I picked up a few products. Tell me how you're doing. I'm trying to film. I don't need you barking in the background. As I was saying, before she rudely interrupted. Perfect. I'm going to be doing a drugstore haul for a primer the L'Oreal infallible mattifying base I never really wear a primer to be fair I know people are gonna be like oh my god you don't wear a primer but no I never wear a primer I've tried a few I just don't think it does anything at all for me I just think oh I waste my money you know this feels like the benefit professional so I got that weird soft feel. I'm just gonna let that soak in. A lot of the products I use anyway are mainly drugstore products. Um, I mean, you know, we're not all ballers. But what I've done is changed a few of the products that you usually see in my videos to try and mix it up, also to try new stuff and show you guys if it's good or not. So the next product I picked up was this MUA or Makeup Academy Pro Base Cover and Conceal Kit in Natural. Oh, I've just literally just gashed that. Brilliant. So I'm just using my normal brushes. Just going in with my Morphe flat brush as always, and I'm gonna go in with this. They haven't got names. I hate when they don't have them. I'm going in with this colour. This one looks a bit too orangey, so... Ooh, they're really creamy. It, it's a lot lighter. But I'm going to roll with it because it's on now and I'm lazy. Yeah, it's really creamy. It's definitely buildable, but it's not as thick. I feel like if you had oily lids naturally... I mean, I kind of have no oily lids naturally. I just put a lot of powder on to set them but I feel like if you have really oily skin this might not be the best for you but I mean it was like four or five pound no it wasn't actually I think it was like two pound probably should have kept the receipt but everything's on the line these days anyway so you can just figure that out or I will link it below and just blend that out I'm going to use to set this the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush. Hmm. That's quite good actually. Right, so for the eyes we're going to be using the Makeup Revolution. I feel like there's a lot of Makeup Revolution. But anyway, the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Fever Palette. So there's 369, 12, 369, 12, 15. <laughs> I need to go back to school. 15 colours in here and this looks a lot like the Anastasia Bev Anastasia Anastasia whatever Beverly Hills okay, I'm not getting into it Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette so that is what it looks like I mean the colours look real real good I'm using my Morphe MB23 fluffy brush this is life if you don't have this brush you really need to get it. I don't know if it's Morph or Morphe. Who cares? <gasps> oh! Oh my god. First, we broke the concealer palette. Now, I just scratched my palette. Let's get close. I'm going to get... Oh, does this not have... This doesn't have names either, so I'm really, really sorry. I'm going to be going into as our transition colour. It's kind of like a burnt orangey, orangey brown colour. Ooh. 
That is nice. Oh no, that is really nice. That is really easy to blend. The pigmentation is amazing. And there's no fallout or there's hardly any fallout in that colour. Are you as are you as blown away as I am? Oh this is amazing. Yes, that is so good. Wow, wow. You go, Makeup Revolution, you go. I'm going to go in with this one. This colour right here. It's like a ready orange again. Just tap the excess off. And I'm just putting this kind of above my crease area. And then just blending that. And yes, I am using the same brush. No, I don't care. Packing it on until you're happy with the colour. Let's go with this. It's coming up. It's a purpley colour, but it looks a bit more brown on the camera. So I'm just going to pack that on right there. And in my inner corner. This brush, I'm just going to see if I can blend it out better with that. That kind of looks better blending it with that. So try and keep this middle part of your lid free so you're just going to blend it like up and out you don't want to be going in and just keep going in until you are happy with how it looks I'm just going to use this fluffy brush again just to add, go in with that second transition colour and just deepen it a little bit because I really really like the colour of this ready, ready colour that's going on here like a ready orange <laughs> like that is just beautiful and also just to soften them edges I'm gonna go into this colour Ooh. That is so nice. That is the prettiest pink ever. I didn't mean to do a spotlight eye again, but it's on now. There's no going back. This palette, amazing. I'm going to have to go back and buy all the rest of them. For mascara, I just stuck with my Maybelline. I'm sorry. It's too good. It's cheap. It's drugstore. It counts, okay? It counts. So, I used these in my last video, and by that I mean, yes, these exact ones. It's all about saving money, okay? So, these Miss Pap Glamify Lashes, they are so, so good. Now, I don't know if this is going to be my colour. They didn't have... Oh, no. Before we put foundation on. We have the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Highlighter. This is apparently supposed to be a dupe of the Iconic London Highlighter. That was my bad attempt at love heart. Let's buff this into the skin. Kind of sinks into the skin where I feel like the iconic London one really like I can't it just shines beautifully. This is kind of a bit dull once you put it on. So the next product I picked up was my perfect colour longwear ultimate matte foundation double coverage that was five pounds from Primark. Apparently a lot of people have been saying it's a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. As I was saying, I don't think this is going to be my colour, but I really wanted to film this video and they didn't have a lot of colours, so I just really wanted to try it. Let's go with this. The mattifying foundation, I feel like we're going to have to work really quickly. The coverage is really good. It's not as matte as some foundation you know that you put on and it's instantly dry. It's lightweight. The coverage is really good. This is a joke, actually. It's 
Ugh, it's really it's like. Ugh, it's. I don't know if it's because my skin's so dry, or if it's the found the foundation. Ugh, can we just? Ugh, 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 ugh. Ugh, ugh. No, this is horrible. It's showing every dry patch on my face. It's not really blending well into the skin. It's giving me like instant wrinkles. Oh, guys, I don't even want to finish this off. It looks horrible. I can't even believe people are comparing this to the Double Wear Foundation. I'm gonna stop because it looks disgusting. It tastes, it's gone on my lips and it tastes horrible. Like, it's got a, I don't know what I'm telling you about taste because you don't have That was disgusting. Which I'm really sad about because I heard so many people like, oh my god, this foundation is amazing. No, but it's not for me anyway. I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage. Conceal and contour. Oh. Well, I might have gone a shade too dark. I'm just going to take my beauty blender. So, this is supposed to be a full coverage concealer. I think it was £4. Um, it blends really, really nice on top of this disgusting foundation. That took me about one second to blend. Did we just see that? That is really nice. I didn't get a translucent setting powder, so I'm just going to have to use MAC. But what I'll do is I'll just not show it in the video, so we're kind of cheating, but kind of not. That concealer is really, really light, easy to blend. The colours, they've got a, like a really wide range of colours when you can get your hands on them because they're always sold out. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast. And we're going to have to try and con... Oh, I never liquid... Oh, let's just go. I'm just going to use this angled brush, I think it's just it. This is actually a Primark brush, so go me. I didn't want to blend this with my blender because the foundation was that disgusting. I feel like this would have been nice if I had a bit of foundation on. This is the Primark Pure Glow Highlighting Palette. Oh. Watch this once. Can you just and again with the with this? So that was Glimmer. This is Firefly. Finger palette once. Can we just four pound five pounds? So I mix Glimmer and Firefly. What I would suggest to do with this is put it on before you put on your con your bronzer and blush because it's quite it's not as finely pressed as most highlighters so it's a little bit like not thick a little bit chunky I would get I would say and I'm gonna go in this color that we used on the corners of our eyes and we're just gonna really grunge up. I'm going to use this fluffy pencil brush and just go straight under right I'm just going to quickly put some mascara on my lower lash line we're moving on to our brows I've got this again from Primark it is called the 3 in 1 brow Preci precision pencil and powder so it's a little 
what do you call them? Poppy uppy thing. I mean, for quickness, it gets a straight 10. So let's just buff this powder off. We all know, and if you don't, where the have you been? Because we all know that these £1 Primark lip liners are so, so good. They are ma they're amazing. I've been using them for a while and they're they're just beautiful. They're smooth, they're creamy, they're just so nice. I don't know what this colour is though. Oh, it's Rosewood Mauve. It's the, is this Primark again? £2. In fact, I got this for a pound, I'm lying. This is a pound in the sale. And it's the Instagirl Intense Liquid Lipstick, full colour, satin finish with vitamin E in it. I'm not even joking, says it right there. It doesn't sm oh, it's got a little bit of a sweet smell, actually. It's a lot more pink when you put it on. It's like a really hot pink. It doesn't feel sticky. It's dried quick. It's really nice. It is an actual satin finish. I loved all the other products except for the foundation. I'm going to try the palette and the concealer. The, I mean the concealer looks beautifully anyway. I mean it's stunning. Not me. The concealer. Um, so I'm going to try that out with my NARS Sheer Glow foundation and see how it sits with that. So I'll let you guys know. But this is the finished look. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If there's any products or any video or look that you want me to do, Please, please leave the comments below. I appreciate everybody watching them and leaving all the sweet messages on my Instagram. It really does mean so, so much to me. I love it. Love it. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.